I can remember growing up, my father was my basketball coach. That's a love-hate relationship that I'll save for another day. <laughs> I can vividly remember one practice, my father passed out a piece of paper to the whole team. It was something very unique about this piece of paper, and it depicted an image of a crane trying to eat a frog as its prey. And as the frog was inside of the crane's mouth, somehow the frog had his hands wrapped around the crane's throat. The caption simply read, never give up. In middle school, I was cut from my middle school basketball team, not once, not twice, but three straight years. I knew in order to stand out, I needed to grow. So I decided to become a better leader, a better communicator, and do the little things on the court that no one else were willing to do. You see, G and grit represents growth. Challenges and obstacles are bound to come your way. The question is, will you be reactive or responsive? Perhaps many run from adverse times because the fear of the unknown or because they are placed in an uncomfortable situation. Whatever the case may be, what many fail to realize is what may be a challenge or obstacle today is actually an opportunity for growth. Growth comes in many forms. We can grow as a person, we can grow in humility, or we can grow in self-belief. I believe that grit is the catalyst for growth. Who's here has ever been discouraged by the F word? Failure. <laughs> or discouraged by the N word? No. The R in grit represents resilience. As a freshman in high school, I tried out for the varsity basketball team and was told I wasn't good enough to play, so they put me on freshman basketball. That same cycle repeated itself my sophomore year when I was told I was only good enough to play junior varsity. I decided to turn those no's into fuel to work even harder. Fast forward to my junior year after trying out for the basketball team, the varsity team, I finally made the team. Grit is the ability to bounce back from no's and failures. You have to learn how to control the controllables and overcome the uncontrollables. Whatever it is in your control, focus on that and let that be your driving force. You tell yourself nothing will stop you and when you tell yourself that, nothing will stop you. Learn how to deal with no's and failures. Being gritty is like a bouncing basketball. The direction and way that the ball bounces back is all determined by the person who is dribbling. Grit stimulates growth and exercise resilience. Now what about the I? In 2009, as a senior in high school, my love and passion for the game had grown so much, I knew I wanted to play at the next level. That opportunity presented itself at a Division III school with no scholarship offer. But that didn't matter to me. What mattered was I had the opportunity to continue to play a game that I love and also be one step closer to my dreams. What is your interest? What is your passion? I believe when you're in the pursuit of something that you love or something that brings you joy, you will not allow anything to stand in your way. Grit allows you to be laser focused on what your interests and your passions are. So figure out what it is that you like to do. Discover what you're passionate about. Now let's talk about the last letter in grit. This is the anchor, the T, which is your tenacity. My college career was full of ups and downs. Good games, bad games, injuries, and statistics that never matched my skill set. I continued to press forward because I knew I had a bigger vision for myself, which was to go on and play professional basketball after college. And I also would be damned if anyone or anything were to get in my way. So I propose this question. What is your why? When you know why you do something, 
you would not allow anything to stand in your way. Perhaps if you take your G, your R, and your I, this will be why you have the drive and determination to achieve any goal that you've ever wanted. And you will operate with intention. G equals growth. R equals resilience. I equals interest. And T equals tenacity. This is grit. After college, I felt I, I dealt with more challenges and more obstacles. I heard more no's, this time from scouts, general managers, and agents. In 2015, after, after coaching basketball at Rutgers Prep, I decided to go attend a tryout in Mexico to prove that I could play at that level. And although I was drafted by a team in Tijuana, I never went on to play due to the coach and general manager being fired before the season even started. I then decided to pack my bags up from New Jersey and move to Orlando, Florida, where I would train full time. And in Orlando, I was presented with an opportunity to once again prove my capabilities, this time in Colombia for a tour team. Although I've showed that I belonged on the court, once again, I walked, the, I walked away empty handed with no contract. This all changed in 2016 after attending an academy in Barcelona, Spain. Not only was, it I, was I an all-star at this event, but the coach who coached me through the duration of the camp wanted me to play on his team for the following season. Finally, my big break. After playing abroad for a year in Spain, I came back home to New Jersey, and I had to deal with more adversity, more challenges, and more no's. I basically had to start over from square one. And in this time, I decided to pursue other opportunities for myself, and I ended up working at the National Basketball Association here in New Jersey. This opportunity was great, especially since my undergrad degree was in sport management but I didn't feel as though I could make the impact that I wanted to on the world. So I decided to pursue other opportunities and look into graduate programs to study performance psychology, something I knew I always wanted to pursue. And that leads me here today as a graduate student at Barron University in Miami, Florida. Along with my studies, I also find the time to make that impact on the world by coaching a sixth grade youth basketball team, as well as partnering with a nonprofit organization where we promote fitness, sports, and fun to youth in the Miami area. It's funny how life has a way of working out because I'm now moving with an intent and purpose that I didn't expect to at the age of 27 years old. You see, when you've reached one destination, there will always be opportunities for you to grow. You will hear more no's and more failures for you have to, that you have to deal with to bounce back and exercise resilience. Your interests may change, but you will always need your tenacity. Perhaps grit is a cyclical cycle, and I believe that grit is a way of living. If you choose to apply grit in your life, trust me, nothing, and let me repeat, nothing will ever stop you. Thank you.